Look at this, November 2022. Blue sky is so hot here in Los Angeles, California. I am loving every minute. Of it. I'm going to take you somewhere today that is going to be so cool. Hey, You're good. Hey, aren't you Scott on tape? <laughs> this happens a lot. Uh, yeah, man. What's up, man? Wow, you know, I really love your filming locations, man. They're, they're <laughs> great. <It's, laughs> Thank you. Do you have Thank a favorite that you've done? I get asked that a lot. There's, there's, uh, more than a few, but I mean, training day, eight mile. Oh. I, I love doing all those. Yeah, those are all good. <laughs> Thanks. Was there ever a location that you did where you were scared at it? Where I was. Yeah, where you were scared while you were at the location. Where I was scared. Scared? Yeah. Yeah, there once was a time I went to a filming location and I was scared. It was horrifying. It's probably the most terrifying filming location I've ever been to. You wouldn't think, you think it, cemetery, true crime location, stuff like that I go to would be scary. No. No! I put up a video, nobody watched it. I don't know why. It's a great video. And it's terrifying. It's terrifying where I went. So, you, I'm gonna put it up again. And let's see if you watch it, because it was really scary. I know you're gonna dig this. Get, get, get funky with me. What's going on, everybody? How you doing today? Here I am in Glendale, California. And look, it's Halloween. We're all ready. When you think about movies, not just Halloween movies, any movies, classic, big movies, there's always an iconic scene. Think about The Godfather. You think about this scene. Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Think about Star Wars. This scene. No. I. I'm your father. Now think about, say, Pulp Fiction. This scene. Say what again? Say what again? Citizen Kane. This scene. Rosebud. So if you're doing the classics, like I like to cover, then you gotta cover Teen Witch. No, the camera didn't freeze. I just stared into the camera. Because Teen Witch, I don't know if you could describe it as a classic. But it's got a classic, iconic scene. Top that. This one. I'm king, and they know it. When I snap my fingers, everybody says, sure, I'm hot, and you're not. But if you want to hang with me, I'll give it one shot. Top that. So that scene I'm king, and they know it. has become iconic. When I snap my fingers, everybody says sure. Even though the movie is pretty much poopy. I'm hot, and you're not. But if you want to hang with me, I'll give it one shot. Top that. Joining me is Nick. What's hey, up, too. Nick? <laughs> Nick is a friend of mine and a viewer, but now a friend. Yeah. Nick's never seen Teen Witch. I will never be hip. But guess what? Neither have I. All I've seen is this one scene over and over and over again. Top that. See, Nick, for someone like me who's in, who's in the rap game, you know, for years now, I know hardcore bars. I know what they're like to deliver. I know what it's like to write them. And these are some hardcore bars in this movie. They are. Yeah. They are. And Pete from the Totally 80s Room, if you're not following Totally 80s Room on, the, on Instagram, you shouldn't. They suck. Well, maybe you should. He said, Scott, when you're back in California, can you please, please go to the Teen Witch intersection where they filmed the top that scene? And I said, shut up, Pete. I will. I will. Now, the lines are, I'm king, and they know it. When I snap my fingers, everybody say, they show, say uh... something about show it. I'm hot, you're not, but if you want to get with me, I'll give it one shot. Something to that effect. Now, right now on a the couch, there's a 
there's a young teen witch fan yelling at me because I got those bars wrong. Listen, like I said, as a, as a veteran of the music industry, throw, spitting out rhymes all the time. You've heard, my, you've heard my demos, you've heard my raps. Hardcore stuff. I'm not here to trivialize what Eminem was saying when he's moving his hands in all sorts of directions. And I know what you people are thinking. I do so many Eminem videos, I must have a lot of them. I can't remember everything. I'm king, and they know it. When I snap my fingers, everybody say, all right. <laughs> it was filmed right here, though. Right here. So if you don't know what the movie's about, well, guess what? Neither do I. Apparently, Robin Lively, this girl, she plays Louise, and her friend, the other one, they're riding bikes down this street. And you can see that school sign way in the background. So they're coming right along here towards us. And Robin Lively, she's... On her 16th birthday, she becomes a witch. What did you become on your 16th birthday? I became a 16 year old. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. And they turn this corner right here and you see that house in the background and this right here. But right up here, Nick, and Teen Witch fans and hardcore gangster rap fans that are watching this. Right here is where the iconic rap battle is taking place. Right here, because these are the houses that are in the background. So all those b-boy moves that you see are happening right here. Let's take a moment to watch that scene. Well, stop that. I don't really give up about trying to talk that, talk that, stop that. I wish you finally take a real look and really stop that. And you do see some angles that way with the tree. And I'm not sure if the, the tree looked a lot bigger back then. I don't think trees get smaller. Science. <laughs> I don't know. But the girls are right here. So her friend. What the hell is her friend's name? I was about to check. And I was like. And I just thought. And Pete's face flashed in my head. Yelling, yelling her name. I said, you know what? I don't care to check. I don't care. Because I'm just doing this. But all you Team Witch fans, if you're watching this, you know, it, it, it's a silly fit. Now, this scene, actually, Nick, was not in the original movie. It was not in the original script. They called them back for reshoots, and they wanted to do... They added something to the beginning, and then they wanted a dance rap scene in the middle. So that's what they chose to do and they had uh, the actor and the actress who do it they went into uh, uh, choreography lessons uh, for twice a week for a little bit I would think it would take an hour to learn those moves but they and they did and also the, the girl the dark hair girl all of a sudden she's in love with Rhett Rhett you like Rhett Rhett's the one dancing and in the rest of the film, she has no interest in him whatsoever. But in this scene, they made it like she's in love with him. And when the movie came out, how much do you think it made on its opening weekend? Uh, you're off by about 333000 <laughs> It made $4,000. 4000 in 1989. But then it became a cult hit. And people love it because of this scene. And so she rubs her little amulet. That sounds dirty. And... Her friend all of a sudden gets mad rhyming skills. And she, all right, let's go. What kind of car is this, Nick? Uh, Honda. Move it, Honda. She comes right along here. And follow, follow the camera. Nick, you're her. I am. You're walking right where she was walking. And she comes right to this location right here in the iconic rap battle. Now, she's rapping pretty fast. Both of the voices were dubbed. It's not their real voices. Supersonic, idiotic, disconnected, not respected. Who would ever really want to go and top that? Which I found to be not interesting at all, really. I was like, I expected that. It, it looks it looks dubbed, and it's actually off by about half a second if you watch it, yeah. I'm king, and they know it. When I snap my fingers, everybody says short. I'm hot. They, they, they were, they didn't give a crap. 
but it was right here. And then, of course, I'm gonna get Nick. This is really on the fly. Wait, this is really on the fly. Nick, will this? I'm gonna come in the camera. And then the last guy comes right to the camera and does this. The one white boy, right like that. Which is with this hand, with this hand. I think it was that way. This way? Yeah, the way you're doing it. Yep. Around. Pretty, 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 fucking cool. Top that. That is pretty fucking yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah, for 1989, that's pretty cool. So yeah, Pete, I hope you're happy. This is where they filmed Top That. The infamous Top That scene. Right here. I'm king. They know it. And I snap my fingers. Wait. I'm king. And they know it. When I snap my fingers, everybody say short. When I snap my fingers, everybody say short. Oh, God, I can't get it out of my mouth. Say short. I'm king, and they know it. When I snap my fingers, everybody, they show it. I'm hot, and you're not. And if you want to get with me, I'll give it one shot. One Top, shot. That. Top that. You only get one you shot. Get one that's shot where, actually, that is, chance to flow. that's where <laughs> Eminem got it from. <laughs> Eminem's a big Teen Witch fan, and so Lose Yourself, I think, came from Top That, because it's a rap battle. He's a, he, that's how Eminem came up. That is, I actually did hear that. Yeah, he was a rap battler, and this is like one of the earliest rap battles ever caught on film. You only got one shot, do not miss your chance to blow. Vintage. Yeah. So the girl who played her is now a yoga instructor down in PV Palace Virtus. Yeah. And she's a yoga instructor for Jennifer Aniston and a few other celebrities. <laughs> Interesting. I was going to actually text her, try to get her, see if she wanted to come to do this video, because she still talks about it. She still posts stuff about it on her Instagram. Oh, right here. I think if you're a yoga instructor for Jennifer Aniston, you're doing okay. You're doing all right. Top that. So one way that I knew where they filmed it was the information was online. But I also like to go and double check. And I knew that signs like that indicate something on the road. Stop sign. We all know the stop sign. But the school sign you see behind them, I was like, oh, there's a school right nearby and that's a school right there. Because I like to over check, double check. Look at this house. Oh boy. Somebody's coming out. Oh, it's the hounds of hell. It's a corgi. All right, Nick, what do you think of top that? I thought it was incredible. Yeah. Very, very underrated, underappreciated. Mm -hmm. um, definitely one of those iconic scenes that you were talking about, like Godfather and Pulp Fiction. Of course. Longs up there. Rosebud, Citizen Kane. Now, are you gonna go? Whoa, are you gonna go home and watch Teen Witch? I am not. Okay. Gonna go home and watch Teen Witch. What a waste! To be honest, when you told me about it, it doesn't stink that bad. But no, okay. it doesn't stink. But there's gnats in my face. <laughs> when you told me about it, I thought it was Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Right. A lot and of people do. When you were telling me about a rap battle, I thought it was uh, what's her name. I'm thinking Sarah Michelle Gellar. It's not her. Nope. It's, uh, don't Ro tell me. It's Clarissa explains it all. What's her name? Uh, Melissa Joan Hart. There right. Nope. I, thought it, I thought it was her and Salem the Cat and Hilda and Glenda. That's what I thought too. Sabrina the rapping? Teenage Witch. No, this was Teen Witch, which was, it was supposed to be like Teen Wolf, the Michael J. Fox movie. Oh, that's right. So sense. there's a few tie-ins with it. The, the, the script follows kind of along with it. She becomes a witch, he becomes a wolf. Mm. They should have had a thing where they fall in love, but I think she would have been a little younger than Michael J. Fox. Oh, well, it's Hollywood. That's what that's happens, Hollywood. right? But it's Robin Lively, sister of Blake Lively, oh. married to Ryan Reynolds from Canada. Where am I from? Canada. Six degrees. That is nuts. <laughs> that is <laughs> what a world. Top <laughs> that. Top that. <laughs> COVID. Nick's fighting off Nats. Nick is going into pro wrestling, and I think you should be called the Nat. I should be. It, it seems to it seems to be a calling because they're all over me. <laughs> they're, or it they're might not, be flies. They're I'm the one. I got axe body spray and hairspray all over, but they're not coming to me. There's nothing. Well, a little bit. <laughs> Nick the Nat. <laughs> weighing, in, weighing in at 220 pounds. Nick the Nat That's from New York. Nick the Nat from, from New, New York. York. There you go. You are from New York. I am from New York. Come on, Nick the Nat from New York. <laughs> no, that's definitely, that's, definitely, uh, that's definitely up there for a name. So, yeah. yeah. 
I'll yeah. let you know if I use it. Nick the net. Nick the net. Nick the net. <laughs> That's All right, my man. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah, for sure, dude. All right. Top that, Pete. That was for Pete from the Age Room and all you Teen Witch fans. I'm not making fun of the movie. I'm really making fun of the movie. Peace out. And just as we were leaving, look what popped up. Top that. Thank you for that bit of acting there. Absolutely. This is Kurt from 80s Life. Hey, everybody. You're going to be seeing us in a few videos together. This video was Teen Witch filming locations that I filmed last year. Nobody watched it because I don't think anybody cares about Teen Witch filming locations, but I had so much fun doing it. I want to redo it. You like Teen Witch. I, I love Teen Witch. But where we are is cool because this is a filming location from Teen Witch. This is a filming location from Teen Witch. So this is where... She is on the uh, the bad date, and they're driving down the street right here. There's now a truck blocking it, but they're driving down the street, and she's having a horrible time. And she says, "I wish you would just disappear." And then he disappears. They come around the corner, and they crash right over here. Wow, isn't that crazy? And we were just walking by, and I had plans. Look at my hands; they're all dirty from the filming we've been doing. Yep. Uh, but yeah, so team, which was filmed here. But you just watched the video. Maybe you made it all the way in. Watch Kurt's channel, 80s Life. I could put in clips, but you know what? I did it last time for Teen Witch. Nobody watched it. So I'm not going to any effort for this one. I've got lots more videos coming. We're filming more new ones. This is an old one that you just watched. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh, now you can see the... the oh, oh, here the it is. Now that now the truck's gone, you can see. This is where they come around the corner. <laughs> she says, I wish you disappear. Boom, he disappeared. And you can see this building for just a second, and then they crash. But when she gets in the car, you can see all of this. This is what you can really see, where all of those roll-up doors are. Oh, nice. See those. Yeah. Okay, well, now I got to do that. Thanks. Sorry about that. Uh, don't watch his channel. He's too intricate. <laughs> 80s Life YouTube. Subscribe to his channel. All right. Bye.